Now, your storm track weather with meteorologist Kyle Porkett. Hey there, Northeast Kansas, and welcome back to KSNT News. Local time is now 6:15. Want to start your forecast across the WeatherCam network this morning? Even I-70 is still slippery and slick. It's passable, but you don't need to be going the 75 mile per hour speed limit. A lot less than that. Notice some of the bridges and overpasses, even the on and off ramps. The crews are very, very hard at work. In fact, my father is actually a county employee back in New York, so know all about the snowplow workers and their crazy hours. This time of the year, but um, still very, very slick and slippery. So, something to keep in mind as you head out the door to work or to school. But if you don't have to go out, simply stay at home. I wish I could be snuggled up in my bed right now. Temperatures outside currently, they're cold, plenty cold enough for the frozen stuff. We're talking 25 to 28 degrees. By lunchtime, getting closer to 30. And by this afternoon, maybe. And I'm crossing my fingers and my toes right now that we can get up to 34 or 35. Because if we do, the second round would be plain old rain. But if temperatures stay in the upper 20s or even 30 or 31 degrees, it's looking like some freezing rain, unfortunately, just in time for the evening commute. So far this morning, some encouraging news on Max Track radar. Yes, still sleeting a little bit. Yes, still snowing and some freezing drizzle. But notice how broken all of this is. Not organized whatsoever. Just some moisture now, basically along I 70 and areas farther north. Been talking to some of my colleagues who do some TV weather down in Wichita, some of our sister stations down there. It is still freezing mist and freezing drizzle in south central Kansas. So a little bit of moisture still in the air to work with, but I think for the most part, we catch a break late morning, early afternoon, out ahead of a second round later today. Remember, winter weather advisories, as far as the eye can see, those in effect through 6 p.m. because of that afternoon round. So here's a brand new computer model. Of course, we call it Future Track. Just came in about an hour ago, 7 o'clock this morning. I think it's overdoing the moisture a little bit, so keep that in mind. Most of this will be out of here by then. However, I am keeping the chance for some freezing drizzle and freezing mist all day long, but the bulk of the storm system will be out of here. We turn our attention to this evening, 3, 4, even 5 p.m., so mid to late afternoon, there is the chance for some rain or freezing rain, and it's all about the temperatures. I am forecasting a high in Topeka at 34, and that would mean all the difference. So please keep it tuned here to KSNT News and KSNT.com for an updated forecast. Another chance for some plain old rain moves back in tomorrow night and most of the day on Saturday. Then we're spring-like next week, 65 on Tuesday. Stay. We'll be right back.